Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Close CRM. Close CRM is a CRM that is designed specifically for businesses to help them manage their sales process and also track leads and in turn close more deals and make more money. Some standout features of Close CRM are, for example, their lead management. With Close CRM, you will be able to manage your leads from the moment they are captured to the moment they convert to a customer. So you can track the status of each lead, assign leads to sales rep, and create custom lead stages. It also has another standout feature that I want to talk about, which is opportunity management. Their opportunity management feature basically is you being able to track your sales opportunities and move them through sales processes. So you will be able to create custom opportunity stages, assign opportunities to sales reps, and track the value of each opportunity. Once you are signed in, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. Once on this dashboard, all you'll need to do now, you can see the inbox right here. This is your inbox in which you'll be able to view your emails, calls, SMS, and tasks. But to get started, what I would recommend you do is go over to the bottom left-hand corner, and I want you to tap on Settings. After selecting Settings, you will see your profile name, but you can tap on Membership in the top left-hand corner, after tapping on membership, you will see your name and you will see your role right there. And you can also start adding your team members. To add team members, all you have to do is tap on team management. Once you have tapped on team management, from here you can tap on new user. After you have selected new user, you can enter their email address. And then from there, you can select the role that you will be assigning to them. And you are going to tap on invite. That is how you'll be able to add team members. And you can also edit their roles and permission by tapping on roles and permission. And then from there, you can tap on new role in the top right hand corner. And you can select the role that you'd like to assign to a particular individual, as you can see right there. Another thing that you can also do is by going over to the left hand menu option once more, you'll be able to select custom activities. So you can tap on new activity type in the top right hand corner. And from there, you can give the activity a name and then you can toggle on whether you would like to restrict it or not. And you can see that the other options, you can set up integration links. So you can tap on add a new integration link. By clicking on this, you will be able to add the name. Then from there, you can select the type. And you can paste in the URL right there. And you can also set up your communication, whether that be phone and voicemail or any other form of communication that you would like to use, as you can see here. Once you have done all of that, we're going to go over to the left hand menu option once more and we're going to be tapping on leads. Once you have tapped on leads, you will see some template examples of lead. For example, if I were to tap on this one, you can see how the layout looks. So you can see it right there. And this is just a demo. To create a lead, all you'll need to do once on the left hand menu option, you'll tap on the plus in line with leads. Then you're going to add a lead name. So let's say for example, Tess. Then you could add in a contact name, for example, sake, let's say Jason. Then you'll tap on create lead. After you have tapped on create lead, you can see right here how it looks. So from here, you'll be able to edit the about section so you can add a description. And if you would like to add tasks, you could tap on the plus beside tasks. And from there, you can add a new task. So for example, if you would like to follow up a later date, you could select follow up. Then from there, you can select the date that you would like to follow up on. So let's say I would like to follow up the six. And you can also select the time. And you could assign this task to a team member by tapping on the team member name right there. 
then you will tap on save and if you would like to also add opportunities you could tap on the plus then from there you will be able to select new opportunities that you can add and you can also scroll down if you like to add custom fields you can do that once everything is to your liking you'll simply tap on save and after you have saved the changes this would be your first lead as you can see right here and if you would like to add contacts all you have to do is go over to the left hand menu option tap on contacts and from there you will see the template or better yet the sample contacts that they have added as you can see right here to add a contact you're going to need to go over to the top right hand corner and tap on the plus and from there you will see the option new lead then you will be able to enter a company name and add the contact name right there and you can also share it if you want by tapping on the share icon or if you would want more options you could tap on the three dots and from there you'll be able to edit it and you can also use this platform to create workflows so for example you could tap on the plus beside workflows and from there you'll be able to create a new workflow or automation so let's say I were to call this workflow test. Once you have done that, you can see right here, you can kick off the trigger. This simply means what will cause or start automation. So you can select whether you like it to be manual or you can add automated trigger by tapping on that. Once you're finished, you'll tap on add step. So what is the next step? So for example, if you would like to schedule an automatic email, you could tap on that. Then from there, you can also add a delay if you want. So let's say you would like to add a one day delay. You could do that right there. Then you could search from the different templates. So let's say email one, which would be an intro to your business. Then you will tap on done. Then you could add another step. You could add tap on add step. Then from there, you could add another email and you are going to add another delay more than likely. Then you can also choose another email template. So you could tap on follow up email and you can edit the template by tapping on edit template and you'll tap on done. Once you're finished, you could tap on save in the top right hand corner to save your workflow and you'll be able to view your automations right here. And if we were to go over to the left hand menu option once more, and right where you see smart views, from there you could scroll down, and there you'll be able to tap on untouch leads. And you'll be able to create new leads from there. You can also tap on leads to call, and you can create new leads to call by tapping right there. And you can also tap where you see leads never email so you'll be able to arrange all of your leads using this menu option right here and to integrate other apps all you'll need to do is tap on integration and you can see that it provides you with numerous apps that you'll be able to integrate as you can see right here you can add zapier zoom hubspot segment calendar and you can also scroll down and you can see numerous apps that you'll be able to add on this one platform. And that's basically it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.